What is this little thing here? I want you to share that with the audience. So, You're welcome to pick it up if you want. Yeah, so not. this, I, you know, I, I built this bridge of popsicles when I was 13 years old. So this is before or after the Taj Mahal? This is after the Taj Mahal. Okay. So, um, so now you've got a little more patience. <laughs> I didn't use I didn't use uh, sugar cubes this time. Good. So, um, but I was uh, at a at a summer engineering program. Okay. And uh, one of the projects was to build a bridge, and I, and the idea was to do it with popsicles, and and then they would test it. We we took it to the um, speed school, mm -hmm. and um, they put load on it, and really, the, yeah, oh yeah, and then they would. They, they put bars here and they put a load on it and see how much this could withstand load. And then the person that could do the most was the winner of that bridge contest. So that's never been broken then? So, so um, you know, I, I, I thought for the longest time on, on what to do and I whacked my brain and um, I, even, I even, I remember going to the Belvedere when it was, when it was, I guess, um, Mm -hmm. more more accessible and uh, looking at the bridges and I was like you know so I, I came up with this design and uh, we t we we loaded it and you know a lot of my friends bridges broke immediately and uh, some of them lasted a longer this one this held 1200 pounds you're of, kidding me yeah that yes I mean I, I don't mean that in with condescension I just as a layman looking at it, it doesn't look <clears> like you could hold more than 12 pounds right. to me so they they loaded it and uh, it, it it did it basically withstood 1200 and then you heard a little crack and then they stopped it so they didn't destroy they didn't destroy it. it because it was the it was like they were very um, surprised as to how much weight it withstood <laughs> So wow. how much uh, how much uh, uh, of the weight that they put applied on it? So, so is there any bridge in the world that's similar in design to that, or do you have any idea? It was called the Pratt design. Okay. And um, I'm, I'm not sure if I saw it in a book or or if I don't think any of the bridges here in Louisville are that way. But I looked at it and I was like, yeah, I can see how that would work. So I, I emulated that. Mm -hmm. And uh, sure enough, you know, there's a reason why they build bridges in that. So why do you feel that captures your essence? I think if you, if you work hard, mm -hmm. believe in yourself, um, you'll have success, no matter what mm -hmm. you do, in any field, um, and longevity. So I built that when, when I was 13 years old, mm -hmm. and um, it just, it, I kept it, um, my, my wife thinks I'm a hoarder, so she thinks I kept it because I hoard all the time, but um, <laughs> I kept it because it symbolized um, something that I accomplished sure. that I did and that was my was the, one of the first things that I actually won mm -hmm. and uh, and I felt really good about it. it made me feel really accomplished mm -hmm. to to do that and it it's intact and yeah. so I gave it to my son and um, he was actually fascinated by it he's like dad you really built that? He didn't take a hammer to it or anything? No, so, my little boys do love so to he, do that. So he did do a little damage here but okay but um and it, it you know it's it's withstood since 13 sure. years, and then he takes it for like, you know, two hours, and you know, bam, bam. It's like when we built Legos for right. hours, and you turn around in four minutes, it's destroyed. Right. Yeah. But he he keeps this in his room now. Okay. And so that's he great. he appreciates it. He's like, wow, Dad, that's that's really impressive. I'm uh -huh. like, yeah. I'm like, you know, think about it. Um, you know, I'm trying to instill values in him. You mm -hmm. know, working hard, uh, believing in himself, mm -hmm. and uh, you'll eventually be successful mm -hmm. in what you do.